What's up guys and welcome back. Today we're starting out our video a little bit different and we're starting in the bathroom and that's because today's video is sponsored by Scott Rapid Dissolving Toilet Paper. So this toilet paper that's made by Scott is obviously rapid dissolving and it's designed specifically for boats and RVs, but you don't have to use it in a boat and an RV. We have a septic system here at our house and clogs can be a little bit of a problem. So in order for us to live our lives uninterrupted, we use Scott's Rapid Dissolving Toilet Paper. It's extremely rapid dissolving, which means you're never going to have any clogs because of this toilet paper. And that is a huge peace of mind for us because guess what? If you have a clog out here, our septic system is under quite a few feet of snow right now, and our septic line is extremely long, so it's not easy to clear if we do have a problem, but this is something that is really, really useful if we're gonna be in Terry, or if we're gonna be in the van with our composting toilet. Rapid dissolving toilet paper is a godsend. If you guys are having trouble with clogs, or if you're traveling in a boat or an RV, this is the stuff that you absolutely want to buy. So if you guys are interested in checking out Scott's Rapid Dissolving, you guys can click the link in our description and go find out more product details there. Thanks again to Scott for sponsoring today's video. Now we're going to get out of the bathroom and get back to having a little fun. What's up guys? Welcome back. Welcome back to the most sleep deprived lady you've ever met. I have spent the last few nights waking up every like two to three hours with Leo. Oh my goodness, it's definitely catching up today. To me, today, I can't really talk. I'm really tired. <laughs> but the baby is doing really well. We've been working a lot on tummy time, which is where the baby spends time on their tummy and just kind of practices pushing up with their hands, with their legs, turning their head back and forth. Look how successful it's been. It's not an entirely accurate representation. <laughs> Sometimes he just gets like sick of it and then he's like, <laughs> just starts to take a nap. But. He's doing pretty well. Also something that's kind of unique is that <clears throat> all the hair on the back of his head grows to the side like that. <laughs> and if you look back here, <laughs> so does mine. <laughs> I find that to be a very, hey. turned his head. He can do it. He doesn't like to do it, but he can do it. <laughs> I find it a very peculiar trait uh, to pass on that your hair grows to one side in the back because it's weird <laughs> and I don't think there's any benefits to it. If anything, it's a disadvantage, but he's got it and you got it from me. You. Way to turn that head. <laughs> anyway, we've got a lot of big things going on today. In uh, the past couple days, we haven't been filming too much because we're trying to absorb the holidays and just kind of spend time with Leo and take a little bit of time off. For those of you guys that don't know. Um, we had a baby. We had a baby. <laughs> and Allie and I never take time off. In fact, the past couple Christmases, we've attempted to take like a two week break and that two week break has uh, both years turned into about four days off. By the time Leo was born, we were gonna try and take like three weeks off in December to like spend time with family and absorb the holidays and do all this stuff. And uh, we we've, can't. Ma we've made it a week, <laughs> we've made it a week. So we're workaholics, we don't know what to do with ourselves. And today we got some big stuff happening. So I went and picked up a new table and some chairs from uh, one of the local furniture shops. And we're actually gonna turn the sunroom into like a partial dining room. It's also gonna be Allie's office. It's also gonna be the mud room, but we've got a rug in there. We've got a table. I've got 10 chairs that I have to build. I built two of them already. So today I'm gonna be building the other eight chairs. I'm gonna be hanging up these temporary blinds that go in the sunroom so that we can kind of insulate the windows a little bit. And we had some really good news yesterday. We tried to get shower doors, shower glass for our master shower. And they told us, oh, you know what? It looks like that glass isn't gonna be here till like January. <laughs> Guess what? They called us yesterday and they said, your glass came in. We heard that there's a huge snowstorm coming, which tonight there's a winter weather advisory, which means it's gonna be a lot of snow. And uh, long story short, they're gonna be here in about 15 minutes to install our shower glass. Yay! So we're really excited. I guess one thing that we're really trying to do while uh, we're taking time off is trying to eat right. Um, basically, the entire time that we've been building the house, I haven't been eating breakfast. 
before lunch and sometimes I just like try to cram some dinner in my mouth at like 8 p.m. and then I go to bed and then I have coffee the next day and repeat. And so I'm trying to be a little bit healthier and I'm trying to eat and today I'm gonna to be making some eggs before we get started with the work because guess what? We already got certificate of occupancy. There's no pressing issue, there's no like pressure that's like, you know, making us hustle and making us not take time for food. So this morning I'm making some eggs. Tell me a lie. I want to love and I want it now. Fake it away. Say it loud. I could believe somehow. We could be friends. We could be more if you wanted to. If you could stay. Also, I do have to say, now that we've been doing some cooking and some baking, we got these new pots and pans and bakeware and all kinds of stuff, and they're from Caraway. This is not sponsored, but 10 out of 10 would recommend. I absolutely love these, and uh, they're pretty pricey, so they, I'm really glad that they stand up to the value of what we had to pay to get them. We did get Yay. our new bar stools. <laughs> they don't rotate, which is like the only downside. I kind of wish that they rotated, but I like now them. I can kind of demonstrate our idea with the island. So we have four chairs right here, but if you want to have, you know, like Allie and I and another couple and we're like here having dinner, the reason that we built the island the way that we did is so that there's this section over here that can accept a bar stool. Now that bar stool, you can sit this way. You can have two people here and one person sitting the other direction there. Nobody's cramped. You can have a full dining setup, five course meal, and uh, you can enjoy some conversation without having to like lean over and like look at people. Perfect. I know we could have it all. Questions for us before we start. How's it gonna look? Great. Great. Really That's what's important. <laughs> so, so those guys are here. They are getting ready to just knock out uh, that shower glass that's gonna go in the master bath. Oh, here they are. Bam! First piece of glass going in, huh? We got no problem. And Lika is just driving these guys nuts. I can already tell. All right, so Ali is going to be attending to Leo. These guys are gonna be installing the glass and I'm gonna get started putting up the blinds in here. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably saying, what about these, these powered wires here? Aren't you guys gonna do power blinds in here? And to be entirely honest, power blinds are extremely expensive. And we ordered power blinds for the main house. It costs almost as much as building the house to buy those blinds. They are like literally so expensive, it's unreal. You only buy them once, so like that's a, a big plus, but we bought them all for the, for the main part of the house, and then here we're just gonna put up these temporary blinds, and maybe, you know, when we retire and we have a little more money, we'll put power blinds in here, but right now it just doesn't really seem worth it. So we're gonna go ahead and get these blinds installed because Allie's in here working, and she's, you know, pumping and breastfeeding, and she doesn't want people to be able to see her. Wanna have the option to be able to, you know, close the, the view from outside. Also, it's gonna be a big insulating factor to put those blinds up in front of the windows. It's gonna stop a lot of the cold from coming in because right now there's so many windows in here and there's no heat in here. So we have like this little space heater, but it's having trouble keeping up because there's so many windows. So I think once we get the blinds installed, it's gonna make a huge difference. And without further ado, I'm gonna get to work. The 
guy that measured this said that this glass is incredibly hard to break. Is that true? Yeah. As long as you don't hit the edges. Yeah, he was like, he's like, if you hit the edge, you can like chip it pretty easy. He's like, but if you like square in the middle, he's like, it's like pretty much impossible. Yeah, you can take the hammer straight to the center of this, and I guarantee you can break it. <laughs> nice. That would make for a really cool video, though. Yeah, maybe when you remodel it. <laughs> yeah, there we go. We do the demo. Huh? All right, so if you're seeing me mount those little brackets up there, one in the middle and one on each end, that's what actually holds and supports the blinds. These blinds are really cool, really easy to put together. Basically, you they come in a couple different widths. You measure your rough opening. You take off like an inch or a half an inch or however much gap you want on each side. They'll cut them at the store for you. And then you just have to take these little plastic end caps because you've had them cut to size. You bang those onto each side. And then it just snaps into place. I'll show you in a second. Now, uh, what I was doing is spacing those little brackets out away from the wall, and I was literally just using this little temperature thermometer thing. But it's much easier to have like a solid surface to hold up and then press that uh, little bracket against it so that you know that they're all the proper distance or the equal distance away from the window instead of trying to use a tape measure. And you're never going to be correct with the tape measure. So, using this is very easy. And this is how it installs. Easy as one, two, three, A, B, C, you and me, girl. And just like that, we have extremely easy, good looking blackout blinds. And I think these are like 40 bucks each compared to power blinds, which are extremely expensive. Well, you know what they say. warmer and so much more private in here. It's amazing to be able to have access to the outside and make it really feel like a sunroom, except for at night when everyone can see inside and when you are pumping or nursing. And it turns out that is not something you want people to see either. <laughs> so I guess Murray Glass, they're superheroes and they are literally done installing the glass doors in the time that it took me to hang these two blinds. So <laughs> either I'm really slow or they're really fast or both. But I guess they're done, so we're gonna go check it out. <laughs> this is awesome. So, okay. Don't use it for 24 hours. Okay. Use your cell phone from your top clip all the way to your point. Okay. Um, and that and about full operation in. As well as out, just watch it. Yeah, who mounted that that close to that? A genius. Door? Yeah. Um, <laughs> Cool. It looks so good. <laughs> wow, I like can barely even see it. I know, I love it. We used to live in a van full time, um, so it was like the size of this bathroom was our entire house. We've never had like a shower or anything as beautiful awesome. as this, so this is a huge upgrade for us, so thank you. And not showering for 24 hours is totally normal for us. <laughs> yeah, we can do that. I'm really excited to use this. <laughs> that is luxury. That's pretty cool. I uh, I was fine with the shower curtain and Trent was like, let's just get the glass. It's not that expensive. It'll make a huge difference with the aesthetic in the bathroom. The only thing that I'm worried about is between the door and the actual glass, there's like a little crack. And sometimes that rain head gets like little minerals in the little sprayers and then they just like shoot at an angle. And I'm kind of worried they're gonna shoot at an angle right through that crack. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Also, we need to get a squeegee, but we can't use it for 24 hours anyway, so. Really excited to finally get to use that shower door.
All right, and just like that, all of the blackout shades are installed in the sunroom. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. How do you uh, just do this? Mm -hmm. So the same blinds we have in Terry. Ooh. Really, really nice. Nice, I love it. So they're blackout shades and they're insulation and we've basically covered up every hole except for those windows in the door. And I don't know if we'll cover those or not. I don't, I, I just don't have blinds for those windows, so. That's okay, we are going to be those people that have a wreath up on their door all year round and that will give us <laughs> privacy. We do have a wreath on the outside and I guess now we are the 365 day a year wreath people. And uh, maybe you won't be able to see in with that wreath there. I don't know. But anyway, now that I've got all of the blinds installed, these four boxes here each have two chairs in them. They are these dining chairs that you see right here. This table extends, you can put a leaf in it. So this table will be able to be extended long ways and handle eight or 10 chairs. I'm not sure we got 10 chairs. Um, we actually have a different table that we bought. We're using this table in the meantime, but maybe we've fallen in love with this table. We don't know. Anyway, I'm going to build the rest of these chairs so that I can get all these boxes out of here. This is my life. Behind the, this is Allie's life. Hey, ho. Yeah. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so behind the couch right there is a giant pile of boxes that needs to go to the recycling, but I'm out of time. I've got to get down to my grandparents' house. I've got to load up all this cardboard into the back of the truck, head down, get it into the recycling bin and get to my grandparents' house. <sighs> I guess I'm going to pick you guys up later. I could dry out in the sun For you Follow the deep dark ocean down For you I'd build the biggest kite And spend all of my time Giggling Daydreaming Is my new middle name This is not a game for me What is up guys? Good morning. It has been a few days since we picked you guys up last. I did get all this stuff done, which I think I showed you last time we were filming. And now it looks like a war zone in here because we've got a lot of Christmas presents and big stockpile of diapers here, but all the blinds are up. It looks amazing in here. Most of the chairs are built. I still have to build these four chairs that are in here. And then we went and bought this rug because this rug wasn't supposed to be here for like two months or something crazy. And then like a week after we put this rug in, this rug shows up. So now we've got to rearrange this room and remove this rug and put that other rug down, but that's a ruggable rug. I don't know if you guys have heard of these, but they're like a really cool, thin, waterproof, washable. You can like literally take the whole rug and put it in the washing machine. And we need that because we've got a lot of mud and poop and maybe the dog peas or something crazy or the baby poops on the carpet. I don't know. We need to be able to throw it in the washing machine and wash everything. So today I am going to be going down to my grandparents' house. I'm going to be picking up a couple pieces of furniture. Some of the furniture is coming here. Some of the furniture is going to Leslie's rental house. I'm going to be helping Leslie do some more stuff at that house. Brandon's going to be tagging along. Everything's going to be a lot of fun except for Allie. Allie's going to stay here with the baby. So you guys are coming with me. I know you're probably saying, Trent, I thought you were just going to move some furniture, but uh, I gotta take my tools with me because Leslie always ends up having a little bit of a honey-do list for me and I never really know what I'm gonna need, so I just have to take everything with me. Are you good? Wait. Also, if you guys haven't noticed, it snowed a lot. Probably, I don't know, it's probably been two or three days ago. We got like 20 inches of snow in 48 hours. So it's been like in the single digits in the teens. So this snow is probably sticking around. Also, it's supposed to snow again tomorrow.
All right, well, I'm ready to go. Got all the tools in the truck. Got my coffee. I got some toast that I'm gonna be taking for the road. Leo's gonna stay here with Allie, and we're gonna have a great day. Wow. See you later. All right, good luck. Made it to my grandparents. We're gonna go inside and start uh, looking through some furniture that Allie and I have left here over the years. And hopefully they have everything we need. How you doing? Good, how you doing? Very good. Brandon's here uh, to help load and unload and take care of all the furniture. Let's go inside and see how my grandparents are doing. How you doing? Better. Yeah? Lots better. You're up and moving around? Yeah. Good deal. How are you guys doing? We're doing pretty good. You want to tell everybody why you got a walker? I had hernia on my bowel surgery the first part of December, and uh, I'm home from the hospital now and doing well. Uh, between family and the doctor and the nurse and the physical therapist, I'm gonna be as good as new, whatever that is. That's right. Uh, my grandma is doing amazing, but she's still in recovery, so if you guys can send out some prayers, I know she would really appreciate that, but she's about to be back to new in no time. I agree. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> we got a couple pieces of furniture that we needed and a handful of other things like an iron. You can always use an iron. All right, we've removed half of our 10 years gatherings down there. <laughs> We're gonna take off and we'll see you guys Sunday. Yeah, what time? Two o'clock. We didn't really get to have a Thanksgiving because Leo was so young and he wasn't doing well and everybody wasn't around. So we're having a late fake Thanksgiving and it's gonna be this Sunday. Maybe you guys will be there. Well, you can be thankful anytime and you can have Thanksgiving and Christmas whenever you want. That's exactly right. So we're looking forward to it, darling. All right, well, I love you guys and we'll see you later. Hello. There she is. How are you doing? Welcome. Look at this place. I don't think you guys have even seen uh, this house like since it's been like basically fully decorated and it's looking nice in here. You're doing a good job. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the last bedrooms or last rooms in the house that doesn't have blinds and this is actually going to be Russell Alley's father's office. It's probably pretty important that the neighbors can't just, you know, look into his office. He would probably be upset about that. So uh, we're taking these temporary paper blinds down. I'm going to put a couple of blackout blinds up right here. Then we're going to hang a curtain over these French doors in the back, another curtain in the other bedroom, and there's one more set of blinds that needs to go on a door on the side of the house. To work. All right, well, I think Leslie is actually gonna be out running a few more errands, and so I'm gonna swing back here another day and hang up these drapes, but we did get all of the blinds, the blackout blinds installed on the door and both of the windows, and then I got all the, uh, the locking latches, so they needed some new locking latches for the windows to lock and unlock. So I got those installed on basically all the windows in the house that needed them, there's about nine. So now everything is locked up, safe, secure. You can black it out, you can open the windows, you can do anything that you want, so 
Leslie should be happy with that. Now I just gotta get the, uh, the drapes hung up, but that's gonna be another day when we bring back another entertainment stand that's gonna have a TV that's gonna go in the basement. <sighs> just a lot of stuff to do in this house. Not to mention in our house, we still got a bunch of stuff to do, but I'm gonna pack up my stuff, throw it in the truck. I'm gonna head up and see Allie and Leo. With your head on your heart, please tell me which way to go. Cause I sure don't know. Well, peace and hand, it's a start, but it's a mighty puzzle to lay. No need to say. Hi dogs. All right, Trent's been gone all day getting so much done and I've been tending to the baby and trying to film and being completely unsuccessful because <laughs> I'm still just trying to figure out how to like have a baby and do literally anything else with my life. I'm obviously not to that point where I can incorporate anything else yet, but Trent just walked in and look what's on the counter. Do you recognize this? Does anybody out there it's not for you. know how exciting this blue bag is? <laughs> <laughs> um, I got super excited because we don't really give each other big fancy gifts like this. Except and I got you a car for your birthday. Oh, well, okay, one time we've done fancy <laughs> gifts, that's true. Um, and I got really excited because Tiffany & Co, really big deal, amazing fancy jewelry. And then I remembered, wait a minute, this looks like a bag that I have seen before. Yeah, you know? it was actually a wedding present from our good friends uh, Tony and Justine. It's actually a gift that we've had in storage for a year or two from Tony and Justine. Thank you guys so much. And now we can actually unwrap them and use them in a house. Before we got them as gifts and we couldn't really use them because we didn't really have a house. Look at this. These are legit crystal stemless champagne glasses. Wow. Do they say Tiffany on them? No, it's just like a sticker that says Tiffany's that you can take off. Oh. Made in Italy, crystal glass. Well, how do we know they're not? It says Tiffany and Co. Right there. Oh, okay. Thanks, That's Tony cool. and Justine. Yeah. Lika. Can't get all of this sticker. Are you being just such a good girl? Look at her right now. Hi. Oh. Hi. <laughs> Did you miss daddy? He was yes. gone all day. Yes, you're a good girl. Okay. It's really interesting. Lika is almost one, and she has all of a sudden transformed from crazy puppy mode to crazy puppy mode plus very serious protector of Leo. She loves Leo. She wants to be near him all the time, and she just wants to make sure he's okay. It's a, it's a beautiful shift, I must say. I'm gonna go shift myself into the shower. You're chefing it up in here, aren't you? I am. Okay, I'm gonna go take a shower. I need to show these people what we're about to scarf down. Make this whole salad yourself? No. <laughs> <laughs> so Allie is making for dinner one of my favorite meals, a delicious DiGiorno pizza. Now DiGiorno makes a stuffed crust pizza that I absolutely love. And let me just put it this way, a frozen pizza going into the oven in whether it's in Terry or it's in Pamela, it just doesn't work very well and you usually get like a soggy middle because it doesn't thaw out fast enough. It doesn't get properly to 400 degrees. But now that we have a real oven, we can actually make DiGiorno pizzas and Allie gets a little uh, pre-made salad from the grocery store with a DiGiorno pizza. And it's, you know, probably a very typical meal for an American family and I absolutely love it. And I'm really glad that we can make it now. Okay, in my defense, it's a pre-made salad that I dress up with a couple extra items like tomatoes or red onions or that's about it right now but <laughs> <laughs> normally I add a bunch of stuff to these pre-made salads to make it a little heartier and more delicious make me feel less like I'm cheating myself out of an actual homemade dinner whatever I'm a new mom give me a break I'm having a real hard time getting it out with the cutting board but I think that if I give it like a nice little whoa 
Aha! I did it. Oh, it's a nice crust. I watch you as you dry. Do you know Bam! Well balanced meal, ready to be eaten. I think we're probably gonna go turn on a little TV show or a movie and eat this delicious pizza. But I think this is probably where we're gonna let you guys go. We hope you guys enjoyed coming along on today's adventure. If you guys did, make sure you show us by giving us a big thumbs up on today's video. Consider subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks again to Scott Toilet Paper for sponsoring today's video. Click the link in our description to check them out. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Adios. We stay here forever. I'm loving this moment. Can we stay here?